Good morning. It is Monday, December 7th, and we are now on uh, week two of our Advent devotions. Uh, we'll start by lighting the, the Advent candles, and we get to light two this week. And today I'm going to read, um, I woke up in the, the middle of the night, um, thinking about Joyce Meyer, the, my, my Joyce Meyer devotional book that, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't read in a long time, but uh, it hit me that, um, I don't know, I think God was telling me to read out of this. So um, today, December 7th, um, it's, it's Joyce Meyer's Hearing from God Each Morning. I've had it for several years. A friend of mine gave it to me, a, a co-worker actually. Um, and she is basing this on, as the deer longs for the streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, the living God. When can I go and stand before him? And this is the verses 1 and 2 of Psalm 42. This is what she writes. I went to church for many years without knowing that God wanted to speak to me, even though I sincerely loved him. I observed all the religious rules and holidays and attended church every Sunday. I did everything I knew to do at that time, but it wasn't enough to satisfy my longing for God. I could have spent every moment in church or in Bible study, but that wouldn't have quenched my thirst for a deeper relationship with the Lord. I needed to talk to him about my past and hear him talk to me about my future. No one offered a solution for my spiritual yearning. Through reading the Bible, I learned that God does want, does want, me to, want, does want to speak to us and satisfy our longings for his presence and interaction in our lives. He has plans for our lives plans that will lead us into peace and contentment. He wants us to gain knowledge and understanding of him and his will through, guidance, through divine guidance. God is concerned about everything that concerns you and his plan is to be ultimately involved in every aspect of your life. Knowing and believing this truth has made my walk with him an adventure rather than a religious obligation. So, um, and she has God's word for you today. It says, spend part of your quiet time today being quiet. Be still and listen for what God wants to impart to you. Um, I've had a sense as I do this, that as I'm doing these devotions, that God is speaking to someone um, about... I don't know, some plans, some thoughts, some something that you want to do, something that's in your heart, uh, a ministry, um, uh, something, a, a different path in life that involves God. <laughs> um, and uh, he's speaking to you. And so I think that this is for you today. So um, it, it, we all, it, it's great advice anyway. We all need to spend some time, just quiet time every day with God. I have a hard time with that. I start blabbing right away. Um, and I tell myself every morning that I need to just slow down and stop and listen to God. So let's try that today. Let's end with a word of prayer. Gracious God, we thank you for every new day. We thank you for this day. Um, I ask that we do, you do help us, nudge, nudge us to uh, just take some time to be quiet and listen to you. And uh, I pray for all those, Lord, who are considering a, a, maybe a different change, a path in their life that they want to maybe serve you more fully, um, a ministry, uh, something that they are thinking about but are a little bit afraid to do. Um, give them that courage and help them to move forward. Uh, it will be good. I know that. I know. I know that your plans are always so good for us. And so we thank you for that. And we thank you again for this day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.